Hey everybody, I am Rhea, call sign N2RJ, and welcome to the shack. I'm going to start back doing Q&As, and today I thought I would come with an interesting question that somebody asked, which is, can amateur radio help me get a job, or help my son get a job? This person was asking about their son. And the answer is quite nuanced, so I'll tell you right off the bat, amateur radio itself will not get you a job unless your plan is to work for an amateur radio organization such as the AWRL or um, you know ARDC they hire hams for certain things or other places hire hams generally though um, or a ham radio store like I guess ham radio outlet or gigaparts generally though ham radio isn't really a prerequisite for a job but it can prove advantageous and I'll tell you why Number one, ham radio teaches you how to communicate and also to have a certain confidence with yourself and your voice. Not every ham, but a lot of hams do. Like, for example, you can learn to speak into a microphone, you can learn to speak publicly, and you will be able to do that a lot better with amateur radio. What sort of careers does this help you with? Well, let's just say you're talking in front of people. You know, I know a lot of hams who have a good grasp of public presentation skills because they get on the air and they talk to absolute strangers every day. Ham radio also enables you to pick out conversations, especially if you do contesting and DXing. You're able to pick out conversations from the, you know, from a crowd. So this might prove useful with some listening skills. There are still a lot of electronics skills taught in amateur radio and it's not like the old days where having a ham radio license would automatically get you into the door, but it kind of eases the way in, especially if people in that particular place of employment are hams. So, for example, when I was in college at Brooklyn Polytechnic, one of my faculty, um, you know, the professors there, he was a ham, and he also uh, was... Um, I believe it was Grumman or one of these defense contractors on Long Island, and they had an amateur radio club there. And I knew some students who were hams who got licenses, you know, well, they got jobs through their connections as a ham. Ted Rappaport, N9NB, he is the founder of the NYU Wireless Institute, which is at, well, and now it's now NYU School of Engineering. And he basically encouraged amateur radio as part of his curriculum. In school, in you know, with kids and such like that, they have the International Space Station contacts that might inspire some students to do science and STEM and learning. And you know, other things. Um, believe it or not, if you want a job as an air traffic controller, it might be helpful to have the comfort of talking into a radio and handling traffic that you'd get from ham radio and contesting. Although that is a very specific skill that you need to learn and you really need to be comfortable with that. So those are some of the things. The Army used to teach Morse code up to, I believe, 2015 at Fort Huachua. And then they kind of transfer that to the Air Force. Believe it or not, they teach it because some of the enemy, which might I think might be Russia or something, still uses Morse code in some of their operations. So it's good to know it. So if the enemy uses it, then we have to use it too. That's kind of how it is. And I'll show you an article here where it says, At Fort Huachua, it's the end of an era on Fort Huachua. Um, the last manual Morse code class began here. April 27th, that's in 2015. In the future, the course will be taught by the Air Force on Goodfellow Air Force Base in Texas. So note, they ended Morse code training in the Army, but it's still in the Air Force. Other places that might um, prove to be you know, useful with ham radio, obviously if you work in any sort of RF or radio, um, like, for example, working as a radio engineer, transmitter engineer, or a TV station or something. There are hams who work there, and, you know, you might get introduced via connection, you know. So, you know, there are plenty of ways that ham radio could help you land a job and could help you make connections. And to be honest, it is more advantageous than 
disadvantageous, but at the same time, it's not a sure shot or anything. All right, so I hope that answered your question. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like the content, and I'll see you around for more Q&A. Totally unscripted. Not usually what I do, but you know what? I like to speak freely sometimes. Peace in 73s.